Episode 35, welcome to my podcast, guys. I'm very excited to be here with my fantastic guest. We have the legend himself, the absolutely fantastic, beautiful, bald man, Asmongold. He's okay, all tonight. right, so we're off to a good start. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, I'm glad to be on here, and uh, yeah, can't wait to leave. <laughs> Bro, is that right? It, I've yeah, been waiting to be on here for eight good. months. So this is how they treat You've been me. waiting to be on here? What about whenever you fell asleep and you didn't show up? Uh, wh- uh, well, I was another sorry. time, right? I, I might mean, as well have done nap time with you guys because everyone's just bunched up. Like This is my normal state of existence. Like if I am, if I exist, this is me. You all get here and you sit down with blankets. Yes. yes. Jacob's giving you guys lollipops and cookies yes. to make sure you're happy and, <laughs> yes. and, and not hungry. <laughs> Tectone's eating the third lollipop of the night. I'm just sitting here like, what is going on? Like mm-hmm. I'm just waiting to do this podcast after being up for 28 hours. 28 hours? Yeah. Why? Because I, I, I love gambling. So how much money did you lose? <laughs> um, okay, well, so five grand of my own money, but I lost five grand of XQC's money. So you lost 10 grand. Right. Okay. But to be fair, I didn't lose the five grand. Mm-hmm. So here's how I was... It was, so where is it then? It's it's there. So let me t- I'll tell you the whole thing. It's at the casino. So <laughs> I spent five thousand dollars, right? I, yeah. I pulled out three k. Everyone's having fun, and Canute just gets married. Right. And I see Canute. I don't know why. I w- I had like three. Uh, I was I, w- I was drinking all night with Canute. And I'm with Canute hanging out, and he's sitting there with Jeanette, his his wife. You know, this is the, right after they get married. Yeah. And they're playing $25 hands. And I'm like, I know you ran eight minutes of ads an hour for the last <laughs> nine hours. And you're playing with twenty. you You're trying to get them to spend more money? I, I oh, gave my him money. oh, my I, God. I gave him I gave him 100 bucks each. I'm like, treat yourself. He's like, thank you. $100? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, you did you sh- watch the wedding? It was so good. I you should have been it. there. Oh, yeah, I, I should have yeah, I, I left the you house. You should have reacted to it. Yeah, it's more like it. Yeah. yeah. I and I, I gave him money. So here's what happens. Me, you know BJP? Yeah. Yep. Me and BJP sit down. I love gambling with two people, BJP and Voiboy. Okay. Absolutely love them. They're huge degenerates and they're willing to go the whole way. So BJP and I sit down and then everyone starts coming to our table and we're drinking a lot, but we're also gambling a crap ton and we're winning. And but while I was winning, I was giving everyone at the table money because they were like just betting with 25 bucks. And at one point, Pokimane uh, just randomly shows up right next to me. And she's like, are you winning? And I'm like, yeah, I'm winning. What are you talking about? And she's like, that's a lot of money. And I'm like, what's, what's wrong? And she's like, can I have some? <laughs> so I just gave her $500. <laughs> I did, that is something you would do. So you <laughs> gave Canute a hundred dollars, but you gave Pokemon five hundred. Of course, naturally. I have to be there for her. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I literally gave her five hundred. I'm not kidding. I don't think she said thank you. She just walked away. <laughs> Probably Fox not. Street. Yeah. She Fox she's Street, just man. used to it. <laughs> yeah. She, she walked huh. away and she gave it to Arya Arya Saki, and I didn't see them for the rest of the night. But that was it. Um, you got but swindled. My uh, is that county? Is that part of the five thousand or ten thousand dollars that you lost, or is that on the top? Oh yeah, like it keeps going. So there's three thousand. Okay. Yeah, so that's the thing. I lost five grand, but it's all. I probably gave it like two thousand dollars away, um, but the rest of the money I lost, and okay, it was all deserved. But um, the other five thousand dollars I got from XQC. Yeah, dude. Did he really go in there with a briefcase full of money with Aiden? Asman, <laughs> that happened. This this is going to be on the podcast. I will say everything. It is indescribable to talk about how much money that man has. Like truly to okay. even fathom it, it is unreal. Let me tell you something, because I'm friends with all. So through the, 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 we can talk about the school live thing. Through that, I became friends with his lawyers. His, all of his managers have my numbers now. And um, I'm basically in contact with every person he had, okay? Okay. This man gambles so much that he had seven hotels. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, is this why? like like Monopoly? How? It's seven hotels. Okay. And they were the penthouse suites. They're bigger than your house. Right. Like actually bigger than that. It's not hard to do, but yeah. Not yeah. only that, full butler services. Okay. And they gambled so much this weekend that he now gets a free private jet 
to go back to LA. Oh, I bet they do. Whatever he yeah. wants. I bet they do he give also, him a jet. He also gets limo service anywhere he wants in the city at any time, no matter where he is. I bet he fucking does. And it is wild to be with that man. Wow. Like, you're because you you bet with Canute after he gets a, a beautiful wedding in, in nine minutes of ads an hour, and you're like, holy crap, this guy is uh yeah. you know, living large. And then you go with XQC, and here's what happened. So me and Nick walk with XQC, me, Nick, and Melania. We walk with XQC to go gamble. And I, I was going to pull out like a few thousand dollars. And he just sits at the table and pulls out a card. Mm -hmm. And he gives it to the lady. And she said, how much money do you want to take out? And he goes, a uh, hundred. Yeah. She's like, a hundred? He's like, no, a hundred grand. And she's like, okay. Yeah. I'll pull out a hundred grand. The, the service happens. They pulled out a hundred thousand dollars. Right. And he gives me 5K. And I'm like, let's go. This is going to be an exciting night. I'm so excited. Okay. His phone rings and he walks away from the table. And I'm like, okay, well, we're just sitting here with a $5,000. Yeah. And I asked the lady, can I play? And she said, no. And they called the police on what? us. What? What? Because they didn't believe that this was real because he literally, imagine $100,000 and you just walked away from it. And they're like, is this some sick joke? Like you can't, there's no way you yeah, just left a yeah. hundred grand on the table. He left it. And then right. uh, he, and the worst part is I couldn't play with the money because he didn't sign the paper. So he had to sit there. Like, so how long, like what happened? So he's on the phone for like what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Like 20 minutes. He comes back oh, and, shit. and he, he sits down, he signs the paper. Okay. And uh, we play a few hands of, of, of uh, blackjack. I lost all the $5,000. Nick, Nick won I think like eight grand. Well, I'm assuming since they keep paying for him to come back, he probably also lost too, right? Uh, no, he was up. Really? Oh shit! Yeah. All right, he was up. But there you go. He, uh, it's just, it's just insane gambling with that man and how lack of care. Like he goes, like, yeah, here's ten grand. Like he gave his one friend who he bought eleven thousand dollars shoes for. Yeah. He gave him. Uh, he just was like, yeah, here's twenty grand. Yeah. Play with it. Have fun. Oh, fuck it. And then Buddha came what's over to the table. What's he gonna do with the money? And Buddha's like, what's up? He's like, yo, here's ten grand too. And we're like, yeah. It's just crazy to hear, but yeah, his penthouse suites have full butler service, full uh -huh. everything. And so they just kind of like keep those there in case he wants to show up just to make sure that he has a good time. Yes. And just to make sure he doesn't go anywhere else. And he's in, uh, he's all uh -huh. those hotels. So this is what makes it funny with the schooled live. Right. Did you hear about what happened? So that was great. Where you tweeted, Pick up your fucking phone. Where are you? And I was like, I checked the, I checked the time. I'm like, wait, oh no, not again. Yeah, people yeah. were like, good one, dude. I'm like, this is, this is not the good one. This is the worst. Everybody one. laughs until he's actually yeah, not there. I kind of thought he wasn't gonna show up. Honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if he didn't. He I'm was good that he did. He was not going to show up. There was zero chance. So here's what happens. So the night before, I'm, I'm texting him and I'm like, hey man, can't wait for see you on the show which is just me baiting him to be like, yeah, I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. and just, just a reminder. No answer. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, he was texting me every day to hang out and do stuff. I'm like, you're telling me now you're not messaging me. What happened? Then I start calling him. Doesn't pick up. The next day, school's about an hour away, an yeah. hour and a half away. I call. He's not answering. I text. He's not answering. That's when I tweeted. I'm like, please, dude. You have to show up to my live <laughs> event where thousands put of on your by fans, Twitch, yeah. thousands of your fans are going to be there for you. Like this is not your average, you know, I'm not going because Soda's not going. This is yeah. the huge, huge event. And I'm freaking out backstage. I felt really calm the entire time until he was just not answering. And I'm like, did I really, am I really going to have to go did on the without meme, him? Is the meme really real? Yeah, I, so the first person I called is not my therapist. It was Connery's pants. Okay. Because Connery's pants is like, yeah, I'll, of course I'll go on and replace him. I'll do anything for, and I'm like, thank you, Connor. For but sure. I needed somebody to replace him, and I was freaking out. And um, I had to like kind of ask around. And the one person that was actually really nice to me was Jerma. Jerma immediately said, Ms., I'm tired. I got to go home. But if you need me right now, I will go on your show for you last minute. I'm like... He's like, I'll wait an hour for you. And he waited. Yeah. He waited the whole time just for me. He's like, hey, I'll what a wait. G. Yeah, he's actually wow. such a good dude. He's like, I'll wait. If you can't show up, I'm yeah. here for you. 
And um, I was like, that is actually so. So I was ready to have Germa on the show, which I was excited about. Um, but this is when it gets crazy. So I'm there hanging out. Austin gets off the stage. And Austin's like, you know what? That was a great show, Miz. How are you feeling? I'm like, Austin, XQC is nowhere to be found. He's like, Miz, I'm going to try to help you. His manager's right over there. So I go to his manager. His manager's like, I didn't even know this was happening. So he's freaking out. He's calling every lawyer, attorney, everyone that XUC knows to try to find out where he is. And after like 30 minutes of figuring it out, they had two hotels out of the seven or eight he has right. that they had a good idea where he was. Okay. They didn't know. They just, apparently he was last seen there. His lawyer, who... Uh, this is like the plot for the Taken. There's there's about <laughs> there's about thirty minutes left. It, yeah. it, it, it definitely was Taken. Ready? There was thirty <laughs> minutes left. His lawyer gets on the phone with the people and says, "I don't care what you have to do. Bust down that door and find out if he's in there." And his uh, butlers took the hinges off the door. What? To find okay. out if he was in the hotel or not. And was he? No. So okay. he wasn't in the hotel. So he wasn't hiding. Yes. So we get a call back to his manager after all this. He wasn't in the hotel. We're like, bro, we got 20 minutes left. There's no way he's making it. Jerma's getting mic'd up. He's ready to go. I'm freaking out because what am I going to ask Jerma the question about, can you spell prudential or whatever? You know, it's prudential. Just, prudential. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's not, it's not going to hit the same. So I'm like, you know what? This is a problem. And um, his manager's like, we got one more place. So they went there. Again, they took down the hinges because they had to do it. And he was sitting there asleep with no phone because he lost it. And he was like startled because he didn't realize that it's five o'clock at night. And uh, his manager went and, you know Billy, right? Billy from Brillstein? Yeah. yeah. He, he went and picked him up and literally drove him all the way back. Yeah. Now, we're getting told by Twitch, you have to go live at exactly five. We don't care if he doesn't make it, you need a replacement. Because they're strict. They're like, five to 6.30 is your time slot. Anything over that, you're done. You can't do it. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, dude, this is... They're, the fans are there for XQC. I mean, Jeremy's great and they'll love it, but it's just like, the questions are for him, the, the vibe is for him. And I'm on stage and I'm, I'm now introducing people. I introduce Sea Dog. I introduced Pay Money Wubby. I introduced Pokemon. We purposely put him last. <laughs> oh, so and you guys really work <laughs> to the wire. Holy shit. And I'm crying. in the middle of saying, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Connor Eats Pants. Ooh. And as I'm saying it, the lady in the back stops me and goes, stop, he's here, he's here. Jesus and they Christ. took the set off Germa. They gave it to XQC. And he went on stage and he was actually there. And it was, if he was one to two minutes later, it had, he could not go on the stage. Wow. Yeah. All well, of that it. just to get, that's how much you have to do to get XQC <laughs> to go on your show. Really? Damn. Yeah. I wonder, like, imagine how stressed out Ludwig would have been. Because, like, he, didn't he do that for, like, three months? Yes. Like, imagine this is, like, a weekly occurrence. Yes. God, that would be so upsetting. Oh my God. Did you see the show at all? No. It was good. Mm -hmm. Very good. S fans, uh, S fans stage present was insane. Yeah. Because his segment yeah, on Michael Light sucked. The dodgeball thing, it absolutely sucked. Because uh -huh. the balls weren't heavy enough. Yeah. It was like throwing cotton and bricks. It just wasn't working. Yeah. But S fan, bro, he stepped up. Everybody did, to be honest. It was a really, really, really good show. You were, you were actually freaking out. But I think uh, it went really well. Oh, yeah. I, I got off the stage and Jacob, who did the whole thing, yeah. he, he came to me and he's like, how do you think we did, Miz? I literally was like, that show sucked. I hated it. I thought it was terrible. Everyone's going to hate it. And I didn't want to check out LSF because I'm like, they probably thought that it was the worst show of all time. But it didn't. It didn't suck dick and it was actually good. Yeah, it, it was actually good. You want to know why I thought it sucked dick? It's because, uh, so the, they gave us an hour and a half and s fan. He did a great job, but he stalled an extra 10 minutes. So who would have thought? <laughs> that was it? Yeah. So S Bro was monologuing. So he was like, make, he made XQC do push ups. He was like mm. making them do stupid stuff. It was 10 minutes. How many minutes did XQC do? That's so funny. Five. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. And he did five push ups. And um, he, X, or S made him do all this stuff. So they started cutting everyone's bits. 
Like Emmy, Emmy, I'm pretty sure you're. Oh yeah, I was supposed to have. So I did two sets of words. They actually told me to do one, but then he told me to do another one on stage. I had four sets of words, but so you got I, cut. I think in a way it kind of worked out better because I feel like it would have been too long. So you got cut for S fans monologue. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Not not just me, Will as well, and I think Nick <laughs> and. Someone else too. Naturally. Yeah. yeah, the really funny thing was is Miz was freaking the hell out the whole time behind stage saying like how it's going to suck. And so yeah. Bonnie picks up on that and she's worried about Miz right. because all the seats aren't filled. So Bonnie goes out and starts grabbing random people to come watch our show. She brings okay. like 50 They weren't people random people. Seat. They were fans. They were just confused. Uh, okay. <laughs> she schooled over here, uh, over here, yeah. No, she was literally grabbing people. Oh and my like, God. Right this way. There's a great show. You're going to yeah. love it. And they were homeless oh my people God. outside. Yeah. She was bringing them in. Okay, to be fair, it did fill up, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was terrified. You know, it was really funny though. The, the, the day after, Dream had a panel and I, I wanted to go to it just to see what, what it's like. I, yeah, what was it like? Bro, okay. So there's there's 2,700 seats in, in the whole thing. And you would think Dream. Like, how much do you think was filled with Dream, Sapnap, all of them? I would assume it would be filled, but I'm assuming it's I not. feel like it's either, there's either, so out of 2,700, there's mm -hmm. either 27,000 or 27. If I it mean, was Minecraft Con, it'd be filled. Yeah, how many high schoolers <coughs> can fly to Vegas so, to yeah. see Dream? Yeah. So I got exactly. <laughs> I got there early and I was just sitting there and I see the stampede of like dream stands all running at me. Right. And half of them ran away when they saw I was sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> and the, they saw the Twitter thread. But they they came and when they were all sitting down, there was like a hundred. And I'm like, there's no way this is it. And I checked yeah. the line. There was maybe maybe in total like five hundred people there at the end. And I was just like, that is crazy because I thought Dream would have like the whole entire columnist basically going for him. Um, but they weren't. They're actually there for you and you didn't show up. You're welcome. Dude, uh, did the you, amount of people. Did you give him up? the thing? The art? I have, I have it in my car. I oh. have one in my bag. Wait, I, I could also I grab it as well. This. Oh boy. Okay. The amount of people I baited with you was so funny. Because really? they'd come up to me and they'd be like, oh, Tecto, I'm a big fan of steak and eggs. Yeah. And like, oh, really? Did you say hi to Asmund? And he's like, he's here? And I'm like, fuck no. Okay. <laughs> so a steak and eggs viewer, there's three of these. Yeah. So there's one for you too. They did art of uh, us on the side. Do I have cat ears on? Yep. Yep. Oh my fucking God. This is actually really good. Is that yeah. so cute? Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Oh my God. I love that. This is amazing. Yeah. It's actually really well put together. I have a sword and they even put my shoes on there. That's impressive. Yeah. The guy was waiting uh, in front of the partner badge pickup in hopes to find me to give me the artwork. Oh my for God. For me and you. And then, that is uh, he incredible. He could have found Emmy later, so he gave it to me as well, so I passed it to mm -hmm. Emmy. Yep. The artwork was awesome. TwitchCon was so good. It was really? the best con by far because everybody knows at TwitchCon you don't do anything. So it was just, you go around, you fuck around, do your meet and greets, then yeah, you go out yeah. to the strip. Uh, I lost $4,000 very quickly. I made you lose $500. I only spent $500 on gambling. And you lost it in Well, whenever you said- and it, you was, it was fantastic. <laughs> so you <laughs> spent $500, you lost how much money? $500. So, okay, so, so you lost all, right, all of the money. Yeah, yeah. but every, okay. all these streamers are such bitches. Like, yeah. dude, I had, I had Quackity come up to me and he's like, Miz, I lost money. And I'm like, dude, 20K is not so bad. You'll be fine, right? Just say the word merch and you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. It's like, Miz, I lost $600 tonight. And I'm like, aren't you like the biggest like man in Babylon right now? Well, you're, you're caring about 600 bucks. But then you have people like Will Neff who's pulling out five grand every three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> going to the table and betting it all, putting it all on black. And I'm so like, all right. Degenerate. Yeah. All right, we're going to win this yeah. time for sure. <laughs> no, that's yeah. good. Someone someone that's actually a massive degenerate to gamble with is Voy Boy. Why is that? He's just like positive vibes, but even though like we're losing all of our money the whole time. It's like, oh, you know, and, well, at least I had fun. And then uh, <laughs> one time, much, I, yeah. me and Emmy gambled with him one time. and Oh, yeah, we, we met him. Well, I've known him for a, a while, but mm -hmm. we met him at, in uh, Vegas the first time for Mr. Beast's League event. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we gambled with him there. Yeah, oh, and he... He gambled with us, and at, by the end of the night, Emmy went to bed. Me and Voy Boy, it's like seven in the morning, and we lost e all of our money, and we were actually fiending so hard yeah. that we were looking for coins under <laughs> no, <you> under <laughs> seats. Jesus, <laughs> and oh we were looking for coins God. under seats, and we were we were trying to see if we per were putting our card angle wrong in. 
We we're like, oh, that's why it's getting declined because we have to turn it this way. For <laughs> yeah, Maybe you have yeah. to flatten it. And we actually got that to generate. It was one of the best nights of my life. Jesus. God man. himself uh, performed an intervention and he made me lose my debit card the second really? night uh, before the con was over. That's probably a good thing. I was, no, I it was, was there not. For that. I didn't see it either. It yeah. literally like vanished in the yeah, thin air. The card just vanished. And you it's divine intervention, yeah. yeah. But then I had to lower my pride and I had to borrow money from Jimmy here. Ooh. Yep, I was begging for scraps. Damn. And then I was up $1,400. And then I lost it all in five minutes. Wow. It was awesome. How'd you lose the money? It was in many ways. There was this one slot machine. Well, how, many, this, how many times did you fuck up in five minutes? A lot. Because I got Ooh. really angry. Because there was yeah. this golden pig slot machine. Oh, that was so good. It was so it was good. fantastic. It, it, okay. And the more you spend, the fatter it gets until it pops. Right, right, right I, yeah. I, I, I put, thought you don't like gambling. Yeah, so I put <laughs> in $500. And, it, and in, like, it's like, like 30 seconds, I win 900 Immediately. Okay. And I'm like, okay. Like big pigs start flying around. And I'm like, okay. So I put it on max bid, $8.80. And I just go like this. And before I even know it, it's gone. Well, I yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you just won, you got to go to another machine, man. You can't, you got to reset it. That's some like pseudo science. No, it's Momo not. Jungle. No, but like, why you, you, were, move? you were doing that at the beginning of the night and it was working. And then you stopped. Yeah. Yep. Vibes well, are the yeah, most So you got lazy. Gambling. <laughs> you got lazy. It's because you, you don't want to gamble. You have to change the way that you look at it. You want to go in and you want to invest. Uh, yeah. You, you want to, you want to try to make money. It's not about gambling. Cause you think about gambling. Oh, I lose money when I gamble. Yeah, that's you true. make money when you invest. It's the mindset. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. But it's cause this one was the cutest. <laughs> it had this really fat pig and it was so. Well, I fun. thought you got the $900. So wouldn't that mean that you popped the pig? I did pop the pig. Okay. Well then just leave. Wanted, How many pigs do you need? I wanted to read Pop the pig. There's no way. <laughs> Dude, have you ever been slots? I've seen slot machines, sure. Okay, but in real life, have you done it? I haven't. Why would I do it? Oh my God. You're, they're programmed for you to lose. Dude, and it's the funnest shit. <laughs> for you? Dude, they're so bad. I had a blast <laughs> even losing. And then I, I did blackjack for the first time too. I have oh no problem. Like, you know I what? We, I'm sorry. You know why we like it? It's designed the same as Gatcha. Like, it's literally oh, like the, the sound effects and. Oh God, well, I'm, not, exactly I'm not doing this podcast talking about God. No, oh, yeah. no, Can we I, talk about Honkai for like 50 minutes now? No, yeah. please, 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 I didn't God. say anything. No, <laughs> no, yeah. no please <laughs> alone, God. I didn't say Listen, anything. Listen, let's talk about why you didn't show up to Canute's wedding. Okay, I'll been. tell you what. Why is that? <laughs> why didn't you show up to Canute's wedding? Why didn't I? Yeah, where were you? Well, I was at my house. Oh, okay, it's fine. No, I was sitting at my house. Did you even watch live? What? Did you see Russell got a hate thread? No. Why, why did he get a hate thread? Why did he get a, what did he, he, he did he litter? Objected. What? He objected. To what? So can you, it was, it was literally- To them getting married? Yes. yes. He gets up and says, I object, and then looks around the room, and then he does a smirk, and no one, people, some people were laughing, and then he sat down. I was he just gets a huge hate thread, and everyone's For hating what? Him. Me personally, I thought it was hilarious. So did Canute. Uh, no one gave a yeah. crap. Yeah, I thought it was scripted. No, it wasn't scripted. I mean, Canute just wanted, con people don't understand, they were so serious about it. I'm like, dude, can you just want it? Yeah, it was just fun. It was just content and entertainment. Yeah. I mean, I was the, the ring bearer, E Rob was the flower girl. Naturally. And then Espan was the priest that he messed up. And Espan had an amazing speech. Right. But then Espan, uh, he was during his speech. Did he bring up the extension? He actually brought up multiple ads, which was great. But what he did wrong and he messed up on, he didn't ask for the rings. Oh, he didn't say, oops. do you take her to be your wife? I do, I do. And he didn't do any of that. He skipped all of it and the ring part. He just said, you may now kiss the bride, it's over. Oh. Yeah, I was a little, yeah, I was damn. confused. Yeah, he skipped it. I, were you guys supposed to have speeches too? You and Melina, the best man in uh, <coughs> bridesmaids. Yeah, we speeches? were, but I was glad they skipped that part because uh, oh, okay, S fan speech was almost exactly what I was gonna say. It was like to a T. So I I was actually gonna ask for his paper so I can have just read to the say. same thing. Yeah, because I <laughs> yeah. really didn't. I didn't have anything to say. But uh, did you hang out with Kadoot at all? Yeah, no, I hugged him like a thousand times during the convention, but I, I skipped the wedding. He said he was, he said he was okay with it. Dude, he's so fucking annoying to eat with. It's crazy. Because he, <laughs> you'll be eating with him at like a restaurant and it won't even be anywhere that has it. He'll be like, more rice. And all he wants to eat when he goes out is rice. And right. he'll eat, we all went to a restaurant and he ate my rice, her rice, two other people's rices, and then ordered more rice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And just watching, I don't know. Kudu is just a very fun person just watching. What I love about him is he does not care about anything as long as he has viewers. 
So like, yeah. that's so true. That's actually so funny. Like, yeah. Wake was doing an impression of him at the same time Austin Show was doing an impression of him, and then <laughs> he's just sitting there like looking at his stream, and he's happy. It's like, <laughs> okay, they're having fun. I'm having fun. His, I love him. I, yeah. I, his, I asked him. I said, "What was your best time of the night?" And it was when Milena had his backpack. He was sitting there eating chicken wings while he was clicking the ad button. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I just I I love him so much. You know he's moving here. Is he? Yep. Wait, what? Yep. Oh my god! And he's building a gym. What? Yeah, yep. I'm building a gym with him. Is he gonna call it Globo Gym? I don't know what call he's gonna call Globo, Globo Gym. gym. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he wants what? to he wants From to call it something like the movie. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god! I uh I skipped Wait. Canute's wedding for probably the best night of my life. Uh, Gamer Steps was throwing a party. And okay. Like, you know, I, we just signed with Gamer Steps. So I was like, there's no way I'm fucking messing that. Yeah. Uh, and Canute was totally cool with it. Uh, we do a video game bar at Player One. It's an arcade bar. Sure. Right? I go there with all of my homies, and uh, Wubby's there. We both have our magic cards. It wasn't all your homies. We were at a wedding, but. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah. The majority of my homies were there. Yeah. So we grab a table. And we pull it to the middle of the bar. Right. Right. And then we go into the back in like the uh, the janitor's closet and yeah. we find a lamp. And in the middle of this dark, neon strobing, rave blasting arcade, it's me and Wubby and two of his homies just playing Magic the Gathering Commander with like hundreds of people surrounding us watching, playing video games. Who won? Uh, 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 Wubby won. You know what's crazy? Did, <laughs> did you see what Wubby Man. got? You didn't see any of this stuff. Dude, oh, yeah. He got a brand new Porsche from GamerSups. Why? New. Whoa. With, because, with, with his brand risk uh, as a- uh, Why did he get that? Because, dude, he's- He moves. He's, his community, bro, half, I, I bet you half the people at school for Wubby. And they're honestly half the people that were there for him were working for him. So if I get people that buy a lot of my cups and they'll get me a car- and what will you do with it? I don't know. Put it next to my car that I actually use. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have two cars. <laughs> now, you got a brand new Porsche. And I'm like, that is... That's cool. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. He yeah. did, I, I, a, I, I didn't know who he was. Bro, ow. I, I didn't know. Who, I always heard his name. I never knew who he was. He's up there with controversies he's with cool. like me. He's up there. He's controversial? No, uh, no, that's not really? true. Okay, he's on the tier uh, list. Well, it, it's just- I, He's I made a couple people When was the last- When was the last controversy? was on stage doing, uh, painting Russell? It's not even that bad. Yeah, this was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, what was he supposed <laughs> was to do? so like, funny. That, that's it's like a, what they so, gave him. Okay, so we're going to paint Russell, and everybody's putting their paint on their little, you know- Their easel. Their yeah, their easel. Yeah. He just takes the brown yeah. tube and just <laughs> pumps the whole thing out immediately. <laughs> takes his paintbrush, big old, big old brown circle immediately. Yeah, that's when Twitch was telling us we have to hurry the hell up. They were, uh, it was- Oh my God. God. So funny. But yeah, I don't know. I, I meet all of these quote unquote controversial figures. They are the nicest motherfuckers. You're by just far. you're just trying to yeah, you're compare that you're up. yeah, you're setting yourself up. I'm really not. <laughs> That's what you're doing. No, it's obvious. No, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, obvious. I'm really not trying to do that. Okay. Okay, okay. let's do it. Okay. You're being controversial, yes, you okay. are. Okay, dude, low to your god. Was fucking he's awesome. He's not even look controversial. He's not. He's just no. an asshole. He's yeah, fine. Is he, bro? Compared to everyone else in the world, is he really that controversial? Who, who hates low to your god? He's well, just well, like a meme. Guy. No, there's a lot of people. I actually oh, got a really? record. There's a oh, lot. Yeah, I actually didn't. You know, yeah. you don't see the YouTube videos. Oh. No, you need to see the YouTube videos. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of them. People don't like him. Mm. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I like him. I think he's, he's an asshole. Hilarious. Well, I think he's great. Yeah, it's funny to me. I think you need to bring assholes back. I think that people need to, we need to normalize being on the internet as entertainment, Absolutely. not as some sort of like real life. Everything you do has to be the right thing. Like, let's have a little bit of fun. Who cares? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that stuff's great. <laughs> but yeah, apparently Wubby's so, controversial. He was super nice. What was the, what was the last controversial thing Wubby did? Exactly. Uh, probably the, the painting on my show. I mean, I, I, what was, was that? I, con why was it controversial? Uh, it was just Wubby being an idiot. I mean, I, I honestly don't even remember the last controversial thing you did. Yeah. I, I feel like there's never been anything super controversial. I, I, prob I probably have more controversies than that guy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you like. All I know is just like stupid Twitter shit, like some tweet people got mad over. So oh, it's really? Like, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what it is. I mean, Twitter controversial does not really count. So yeah, it's Absolutely not real. Not. Speaking of controversial, this is terrible. I can't believe she said this. I was at a emo night 
It was emo night. So, well, so is this like where everybody gets together and like listens to like My Chemical Romance? It was literally what? Emmy Spotify playlist, just yeah, it's, three it's times just louder. A party, but instead of like club music, they play. Does everybody dress up in black? Uh, yeah, not everyone. Pretty much. Me. I mean, most yeah. of the streamers already were. So it right. Was, they all show up. Everyone's doing change. it. Yeah. It was great. There you go. You know, it it was a good time, and I'm I'm having fun. No, it wasn't. That shit sucked. What? Emo night was terrible. I was telling you, it literally got better after you left. No, like a hundred more people showed up. I'm not even kidding. No, it's just I don't like these fucking corporate mixers where they put a like a fucking alcohol drink in the middle and then everybody just stands there. I it, I think that's just it so was, fucking. There was no alcohol in the middle. You were playing with bubbles on the side of the. Yeah, because they kept on giving me the bubble gun. Right, you liked it. <laughs> I did like the bubble gun. They was well, like you probably he weren't an emo in high school, were you? I was. Okay. Yeah, I had. Did, the did you wear eyeliner? No, I wore wristbands though. I used oh, to, I used to have those. So my mom took it away. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it. Wait, I the, thought the people. Which ones? I heard uh, a, a spike wristband, and like oh. yeah, I had other ones too. Yeah. yeah, I used to think the people who cut themselves were like cool, so I'd wear <laughs> wristbands and be like, oh yeah, guys. <laughs> I cut myself too, but yeah. I was still red. <laughs> no, it was. I mean, the music was fine, but uh, I just, I just can't do that shit. When I go to a party, I don't like listening there being spammed with loud music. I, I fucking hate. I don't that like shit. that either. It's I hate terrible. It. Tecton, you just hate that something's louder than you. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. It's a challenge, <laughs> dude. Like, 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 for example, the Dolce and Gabbana party. You cannot talk, and then every three minutes, a bomb goes off in the middle of the yeah. rave. What in the fuck was that? Oh, I left. Yeah. So this was the Razor thing, like so. Yeah. So the Razor did a party with a a luxury brand. Yeah. yeah Dolce what? And How the off fuck? TV. Oh my yeah, god! So the, so another luxury the streamer brand. area was like right next to the DJ booth. Yeah. And they also had this thing where sometimes it would just like shoot mm. mist ice onto the crowd, and it I sounded like a fucking head. bomb was oh. going off. It was, what the fuck? It was fuck? so loud. I mean, it was a cool party, but did somebody like, get hurt? Talk to anyone? No, it sucked. No. There was a shit oh. Party. I'm not even gonna pretend it was a shit party. Oh man, that that's sucks. because I don't know why these <laughs> brands think that streamers, the the losers of the modern society, yeah. want to party like the normies of the world. Yeah, the and, only people I saw that were actually making sense there was Alinity and Fandy, and I'm like, you guys, you guys look right, but all yeah. you have a bunch of these gamers and like hanging out in a corner trying to talk about you know the next uh, update of fucking, Fortnite. Yeah, it, sure. It, it was a bunch of offline TV people and OTK people. We're just like, what do we do? So we're talking about Valorant. We all, and it <laughs> was crazy. It took forever to get into the party, but then everyone was just leaving. I I left. I did I did not like that party at all. Yeah, but really. I did like emo night, and then okay, I was hanging out with Kai Day. I I love Kai. Day. I love hanging out with her, and I was just hanging out with her. I didn't even know she has a, her, a sister. Doesn't stream. I didn't know that either. Sister does <laughs> not stream, and she comes up to me. I don't even know her, never met her. And she goes, you should kill yourself. And then Beige. just walk. <laughs> did, you, then, did you ask why? I like her. No, she just walked away. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's just like, yeah, you should just fucking kill yourself. And she walked away. Kaida's like, I raised her well. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> yeah. this is fantastic. How old was she? Uh, I think she was like 21. She was just Wow. Like, yeah, she was. Okay. She just fucking hated on me. I thought it was fantastic. I was like, thank you. It was like a Kaida's like, you deserve that after uh, farming me for so long. Yeah. And uh, that was my favorite party. I like that one. Nah. Well, you like gamer subs. I do. But the you thing didn't is, even party. You just played magic in a closet. It was fucking awesome. Okay. Yeah, because is. streamers don't know how to talk to each other in real life. That's true. They, they usually have like the League of Legends in the background or the World of Warcraft or the YouTube TikTok shit open. You put them in real life and the conversations are so awkward. Unless you carry the entire fucking thing. At least for, for, at least for a lot of the streamers. Uh just put us in a bar with video games, Connect Four, which is way better. I, I don't I don't want to go to a club and get blasted with loud fucking music. It's awful. I've been to clubs before. I've never oh, had fun. Man. Yeah, I have. Besides Goldshire, where, what club have you been to? <laughs> I have been dragged down to the Sixth Street Clubs over 20 times in my life. And one of the greatest things ever was whenever my friends got too old to think that you had to go down there. Yep. I do not want to. I had to go down there. I had to take my ex-girlfriend down there. It was fucking awful. I hate it. Mm. This, you can never fucking hear anything. Everything is too expensive and it sucks. And everybody's drunk. And there's nowhere to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. It is it's bad. a fucking face. It's, it's awful. <laughs> Everything about it is bad. Oh, you want to get a you want a, a glass of water? That's six dollars. Okay, soda. That's nine. Have you ever went gambling? What? Have you ever like played blackjack? 
No, I would lose. Why would You'd I play it. something I would lose? You'd actually at? love it. You'd lose your fucking mind. No, no, I think you could be good at it. No, I, mean, yeah, I could be, You'd be but really I'm not. Good at slides, I would Asmund, be, but like, like I don't. You want should try to. it. Well, no, it's like well, I mean, no, you can no, affect. Oh. Like you can win blackjack like fifty five percent of the time, right? So like you'll win more than you lose. But like I, I, I don't know how to do that. I mean, fuck. That's so crazy. like I only gamble on things that I will win on. I'm telling you, you'll win if you gamble with me. Really? Yes. It's all about vibes. I will. I leave tables if the vibes are off every really? time. <laughs> it's all about vibes. I was chilling with this guy, uh, and he was the best. Me and BJP were having the time of our lives. They were like good vibes. I I gave him five hundred to four hundred dollars by the end of the night because he was such good vibes, and he was giving us good hands. It was a good time. The second he left, this. Girl named Sue shows up. Oh, no. And she just drained the energy. We were saying bad vibes. We went from $300 hands to $50 hands. We're like, Sue, we're just not feeling it right now. Like, you understand. And she gets it. We just lost all of our money real quick. He came back. We had a party. It was all vibes. That's it's great. all about the vibes. It's all about the vibes. I just, I just don't gamble, man. I don't gamble like unless gamble I know I'm going to win. So much. When? And you don't win. When do, when do I lose? You gamble every time you, you get in your car and drive here. Let's be real. Yeah, true. <laughs> you go to hard. But I never lose. See, that's the thing because I can affect that. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, by I don't turning to... off your AC to get up a hill. You, that's how you don't lose. Well, yeah. I mean, I can only get like thirty dollars, thirty miles an hour going. Bro, Asman, you lose. You go to one eighty pity. Right. And. And then you still say winners win when you couldn't have possibly gotten worse off. Well, you have, you have to say that or it kills the magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I no, no, it's no. Win. Actually, depression spinning streams are the best. <laughs> like, I, I remember, like, no. any time that I, like, I'll watch somebody play, like, any of the slots, I love watching people that are losing. I hate it. I love it because it feels so good because you're like, ah, it's what you get, bitch. Ah, you're so stupid, aren't you? You're no. such a loser. <laughs> Dude, Aspen, then they're in their penthouses and you know they're not losing a single dime. No, I'm sure some of them are losing real money. I, I wanted to strangle. There's a guy called Rubber Ross. He was yeah. sitting behind me the whole time as I'm draining $1,400 just calling me a fucking moron the entire right? time. I, oh my God, it's the worst. But was he wrong? Yes. But you wonder why? Because I was having fun. Yeah? How long all. did that fun last? I, you know what? I, I still have the memories about it. Is and, that right? And I have photos. I don't go to gambling to win money, man. I do it to have fun. Losing money is fun. Okay. <laughs> no, well, I, that explains a lot. It's yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it really isn't bad losing that. I mean, the money's... It's it's about the memories. I like I actually had a lot of fun even losing the money. I didn't mind it. The only the only thing I hated was Jake and Bake. What a oh bad. yeah, I hate that guy. I hate him. I hate him too. And why? He came up to me after he knew I lost, and he showed me his hand, and he's up like three hundred dollars, and he put down like a hundred, and he just looks at me, he's like, "I know you lost tonight, but just know I won." Okay. But he only won $300. That's not even a big but deal. But the Jake and Bake, I mean, like... I, I was, oh, yeah, it's a lot of money. You know, I was like, you know what, dude? Like, you just won 100000 in the AT&T tournament. Like, you're really just betting with three that? Three years in a row. Or yeah, was, three is it years two? in a row. No, like it's three years in a row. Yeah, it's three years in a row he's won. Wait, did he wow. cheat like Sea Dog? No. Oh, I could talk oh. about that. Wait. This is a podcast what? exclusive. Oh, yeah, but you know, Sea Dog C-Dog cheated. Ready? So do you see my? Do you see any of the show? No, I didn't see anything from TwitchCon at all, except man. for the very beginning of Dan Clancy talking about it. That's the only thing I saw from TwitchCon. So, at the end of the show, it was like tied up in points, and obviously it was all bullshit and crap. I don't even know if I was adding it up right. And at the end of the, the whole show, uh, it was pretty much whoever gets this question right wins. And the question was, where did Dan Clancy work? NASA. And the answer is NASA. But. Uh, XQC got it right, so XQC was actually going to win the whole show of Schooled, um, but then C Dog all of a sudden said he knew it and he got it right, and he actually won in the end. And he got the whole trophy. He did everything. He got the ceremony himself. Yep. <clears throat> I see him like six hours later, belligerent, drunk. He's like, Miz, I'm gonna be honest with you. I fully cheated off XQC. Wait, how? Were well, they on opposite ends? Well, here's no, the thing. He said he saw he saw <laughs> XQC write NASA. He's yep. like, I wrote NASA. Here's the thing, though, is like if XQC had won, he still wouldn't have the money by now. There was no money. There was no money. What? It was a trophy. It was a trophy. Wait, what? It said Miskif. What? It said Miskif. But they, you didn't. You didn't even give people money. As what the why fuck? Why would I give that man money? Well, I don't know. Like ten thousand. That's it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> funny? Yeah, it's kind of What's funny. funny about I think that? Tips, tips would have left the audience if we gave him ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's probably true. But he got a trophy. I mean, trophies are better, right? I mean, everyone thinks. I'm so. sure. I think so. 
Okay. I mean, listen, Austin Show gave his contestants three dollars to the winner. Okay, three dollars, three dollars. Oh wow! And I, I gave a nice ass trophy, and Sea Dog got the trophy, did everything, admitted to me he, he cheated. He really did cheat on the whole show. So, so he actually fucking wow, that's messed up. No, it's not. So yeah, did he no. give the trophy? To ex- they, did- they knew that they could like see each other's boards, right? Yeah. No, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. I think he did what he had to do. Yeah, and Tech yeah. also cheated on my show. How the fuck did I cheat? What? What are you talking about? You said to me you cheated on my show. That's because I like lying to you. You said he used Google the whole time. How the fuck would I have Googled the math equation? I literally just like lying to you for no reason. <laughs> Next time I see you at the TwitchCon party, I'm going to turn away too. And you're going to be like, what's going on? What? It's like, it's like this shit. Like, Why don't you like, like me? I, so, so the content goes, I just like, I just like fucking with Mez. It's very fun with me. Because he fucking yeah. nonstop. Because he does the thing that I hate the most in the world, which is he says the same things that I say in my voice or the way that he thinks that I talk. I just want to fucking kill myself. Okay. Right? So I just go up to him and I say, oh, by the way, Mez, I cheated on your show. Yeah, I just had a little. But you act like I give a shit. It be you did because you're reacting. Well, it's good if you have cheating. You want to have cheaters. Yeah, yeah, trauma. Yeah, you have to always bring on cheaters. Like you need to bring on somebody who you know will cheat. I, I, I did. It was tech tone. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) I'm just very good at math. What can I say? No, you. I'm surprised you didn't cheat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean that was impressive. How fast you did that. But it would, it would have taken longer to Google it. So I'm I'm pissed. I I was gonna expose you next stream. I know. Hey, what can I say? How, how were you not going insane on the plane? So we, we all flew in together oh, at was. like 8 a.m. And he, Tectone was reading manga on his phone. And every time he flipped the page, Miz would be like, is that Frieza? Is that you? Oh my God. Who's that? I'm like, M- Miz every is the, fucking page. Miz is very I good. I was like, what the fuck? And I was in the middle seat. So I was just like trying to sleep. And this is like happening. I, I am trying to 29 deal with years old. <laughs> but Miz Kim drives me fucking nuts. And there's nobody else who does it like Miz. It's, it's absolutely insane. I don't know. Uh, those two people at TwitchCon probably pissed you off, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you tweeted about them. But the worst thing about the plane was I meet up with Will Neff. Yeah. Whenever Will Neff meets up with me, he spanks me on my ass. Yeah. But he spanked my ass so hard that my left ass cheek is bruised. Still? Yes. Oh, wow. He smacked the that's impressive. fuck out my ass. Nice. You know what? But so, that's okay because he killed it on the show. He did. That man does. That man needs to be on stage. Oh, absolutely. He's the greatest. You, you missed it. There's this one part where it was... Basically, it was dodgeball, but it's reverse dodgeball. So it was like you had to throw these things. It was it was bad. It was the worst part of the show. And it was the first part of the show. And it was um, it just took too long. Yep. And we were counting up who won, and it was kind of awkward, and it was kind of boring. Will saw that from the backstage, saw that it was boring, and he ran out on stage and just jumped into the giant wall that was made to just completely destroy it. <laughs> And then just goes like this to the stand, the fans, and they go crazy over it. Let me give you the context, because I was My backstage, because we were talking about it. Yeah. So we Dedicated were, to the audience. Yes, exactly. he is. We were all backstage being like, wow, this segment fucking blows. And Will's like, oh, God, I got to do something, man. But can, I, can, I, can, I, can I go up there and like just jump into the fucking wall? Can I do that? And I'm like, man, I don't know. Do so he like metaphorically want, put on his fucking superhero suit? And he <laughs> yes, he day. actually did. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna go knock down the fucking wall, man. <laughs> just start sprinting over there. It was so good. Moral of the story is, I had to sit on exclusively my right ass cheek because my left ass cheek is so fucked up. And what was so good about Damn. Will is that Will was able to, I, there was, we didn't have a rehearsal. There yeah. was no, there was, I didn't even rehearse. Twitch was like, yeah, yeah, come for a rehearsal. It was an hour. We did not rehearse. And I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. There, I mean, Tectone did an insanely good job. You should watch it. He improv like really well. S fan did an insanely good improv job. Uh, Emmy made uh, XTC say predumptual or whatever the word is. I don't even remember. Yeah, Emmy, your bit was really good because you were stressed. But you I was, was hilarious. Yeah, I was like stressed out behind the thing. And you like got a drink. Pre- prenuptial. <laughs> that was You realized I yeah. was shit faced on shit stage. I was too nervous to even drink. I was like, well, what if I drink yeah. too much? I don't when know. You throw up and it's funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that would have been cool. Didn't you like hit somebody's vape <laughs> beforehand? Huh? Didn't you like hit somebody's vape beforehand? You were supposed to tell them that. Oh my uh, God, you're so cringe. Uh, <laughs> That's the student's job to hit vapes. You're hitting, st- I think vapes are so cringe. I, th- I thought it was funny. Well, you I could do I heroin wanna, for I like, I think vapes are so cringe. Because I, I mean, two shots like literally makes me throw up. So one's kind of like risking it sometimes if it's too yeah. big, you know what I mean? 100%. Yeah, but um, yeah, me and Jeff came up with the words. So I was Pretty proud of them. Prenuptial was Jeff's word completely though. Yeah. But they kept saying, like, one. I don't think you should say that. Like, what if he gets mad? And we were like, 
No. No, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> no, the other one said that. I said that. And uh-huh. you did get mad. I could tell because when you said it, he went like Wait, you said that? Uh-huh. Yes. I was afraid he was going to oh, get Jake, mad. Oh, Jacob was scared too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he goes like this when you when you said it. And this is me. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see it in the clip. He looks, and I literally go, it wasn't me. Well, I mean, to be fair, I heard the leaks. It is actually clear that he does know what that word means. Yeah, yeah but he can't yep. spell it. It was fun though. I, yeah. I did have one improv joke, the thing about British people. I mean, I just said that because I hate British people. What and about then them? later- Who doesn't? Oh, what did you say? Uh, so I, Sea Dog's word was uh, arigato gozaimasu and it has U's at the end of both words, right? Okay. But like, it doesn't sound like it does. And he mm. missed one of the U's. And I, I made like a comment about how British people just stick U's in random words. Uh-huh. And then after E-Rob was like, bro, I thought your U joke was so funny, but Nick told me it was scripted and it ruined it for me. I was like, it was not <laughs> fucking scripted. Why did he say that? So Nick just ruined it for no reason. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, the problem is I had scripted jokes because they like put them in the back and then they started cutting them. Um, my jokes were really funny, but they started cutting all the jokes. Because of the because obvious of the reason? No, no, <laughs> they weren't. Oh no, no, no! Because the time, they were just like, "You got to hurry the hell up!" But I'm like, "Bro, I, this is my main stage. Let me be me." And they, uh, they really didn't want me to talk. They wanted to cut everything, but you know, it, it turned out to be honestly, it was a great show. I watched it back, and I was like, "Damn, that is, a, it was huge." I mean, it's the biggest thing at TwitchCon, and uh, it was besides Gen Fox's stream. Yeah, it was close. There's <laughs> a lot of people there. No, it was right. doing really well. <laughs> but it, it was it was honestly a great time. Like mm-hmm. I think TwitchCon, Asmund, I think you would have liked it. It was a in my opinion, TwitchCon this year felt like the vibes of like the You Twitch remember the last system. TwitchCon I was at. You should never you, go to a TwitchCon. You you remember why I didn't go again. Yeah. Wait, no, I don't. Wait. Are you public about bad, this? It was a bad time. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. This, no, we're not going to talk about it. Nope. No. Asmund mm-hmm. should never go out of his house ever again. Yep. You should always stay right. indoors. Uh, it's just a good idea. It's just a good idea overall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe you, actually. Not, you yep. should not be here. But one thing that you would have liked, Asmund, and honestly, I think this is something that really made TwitchCon so good. Because I'm like, what is it? Like, there's not really any new streamers. There's not a lot going on. What made TwitchCon so good this year? It is Dan Clancy. Yeah, Dan was I agree. so good. He was everywhere. on everyone's shows. I mean, he went on he went on something crazy. Everyone had their own suits. Like Tectone got it. Jacob got everyone's stuff ready, right for the shows. Yeah. Dan Clancy brought his own stuff for every show he was on. Yeah. He's like, I plan this. I want to do it this way, and it worked. Like he came out as the hippie teacher that smokes a lot of weed, and he had his. Sh- yeah, toes he was out. barefoot on stage. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, this guy just gets it. He's a fun dude. You should watch. He was singing for Knut's wedding and oh playing my the piano and well, playing the piano that. at that's the same sick. time. Wait, he can, oh my god, yeah, he that's was playing insane! Piano and singing for the wow, wedding. what the fuck? Yeah, you, you, no, yeah, you missed that. out. It that's was actually, incredible. It was lovely. And I, dude, I, I shed a tear. Oh my god, it was beautiful because I'm like, <laughs> god damn, like. I have a 70-30 split. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the little tickets. Yeah. The little golden tickets. Are those permanent? Probably not. I will say this. For the, the biggest problem I have with TwitchCon is the viewers when they meet female streamers are fucking weird. Really? I was having to like bodyguard for like some of my buddies because these viewers need to fucking understand. You can't just, bro, you, you can't just like do this. Like, with a chick. Like, uh-huh. that's just weird. It's so fucking weird. And I always have to rip people apart. It's just like, bro, just stand next to each other, smile. Like, Don't kind of fucking like touch each other. Yeah. Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Point exactly. Yeah. 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 There you go. And no, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never, I've never had that happen. I have people grab me all the time at conventions. Wherever I would go, it would just be constant. Well, it's probably yeah. security thinking you're homeless. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, there was a. I'll be real with you. I, I didn't have anything bad. Yeah. The only thing, honestly, I kept having happen is the same five viewers were just like. Hey, Miz, like, can you sign this? I'm like, dude, are you out of your mind? I've signed like six different things for you at this point. Yeah. Is it really that interesting to talk to me for the ninth time in a row? One girl had me sign a Kit Kat. She's really? Like, I just bought this. Can you sign it? I'm like, are you going to eat it? You dumbass. Like, what the hell is this shit? With the marker? Yeah, the she's marker like, yo, here, here, sign my Kit Kat. I'm like, this is just getting outraged at this point. I'm like, I, but, um, did I, you do it? Of course I did. Yeah, of course. You know I loved it. You know I loved it. Yeah, Anything I, for the fans. Yeah, but I, I listen, 
If I was Dan Clancy, if I was in charge, I would say all girls at TwitchCon need security. Uh, I'm pretty... Did they not, I, I know they offer that for a lot of them. I know they do, yeah. yeah, they do. yeah I, I think they do. They even offered it to me last time I went there. You know what's funny? Uh, they were supposed to offer comped rooms. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Austin Show. If anyone doesn't know, Austin Show is... A performer. A Karen. No, he's oh. a Karen. The man just loves to... He complains a lot, complain. doesn't he? Yeah, he I, loves I, yeah you could just... He yeah. tells me, Miz, if you ever need to... Uh, if you ever have a problem with your hotel, call me. I will get it fixed immediately. He loves mm -hmm. to argue and complain. He lives for it. <laughs> so... Um, I didn't I, know that. That's oh, actually yeah, so funny. It. So he's with... <laughs> I, I'm like... I'm like staying at like this like, you know, smuck hotel in like a, a small room with, you know, half a blanket, right? Yeah, you yeah. You would have loved it. And I'm sitting, I'm living in there. <laughs> yeah, I would have. And, and I'm like, this this place sucks. Like, what the hell am I doing over here? Um, you know, and at, I get a call from Austin show. And he's like, Maze, you excited for the show tomorrow? And I'm like, why does it sound like you're in a bathtub? And then he FaceTimes me in the bathtub <laughs> and you can see his entire palace that he was given. Right. And I'm like, well, how, how'd you get these? He's like, you don't, you're not with me? Miss, you had to get your room comped. You have a show here. You got to get your room comped. And I'm like, I, I didn't even know you could. He's like, get me in contact with your partner manager. This is unacceptable. I'll, I'll try to get it <laughs> you right now. He's like, Miss, I got everyone on my show comped. And I'm like, what the hell? That's like... You know, it's a lot of money. Five grand a person. He's like, yeah, we all got like beautiful suites, and you should get your room comp. You are doing a show for them. You're doing a service. He said for Twitch, and you de deserve your room comp. Jesus. And um, the best thing about it is that he's not wrong. No, he's, yeah, he's no, 100 percent right. He's 100 percent. Yeah. Right. But when you think about it, I had everyone on OTK on my show, uh -huh. and Conrad's pants. So right. <laughs> you went out of all those people. I, I had Conrad's pants come on for one second just to go, Conrad's pants, everybody. He went like this and left. I, um, it would be like over $100,000. But I at, le I at least deserve my their money. Comped. But he was, he was willing to argue with Pluto on the phone to be like, get, get Mrs. His, his and plate. so did you get it? No. Okay. No, I did not get it. Where were you staying? Uh, Westgate. It was, it was oh, a, old, old, old Vegas? It wasn't bad. It was just like a small room. I was like, it's, it, it worked. But I mean, I look to my right and I see this place called Circus Circus and it's a giant circus hotel. Right. And That's you so can cool. see Wake Wilder waving over there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're almost saying there yeah. too. I, I, was, uh, I was so tempted. I, I'm going to do it next Twitch con. I'm going to, me and Britt are going to stay at the Trump Hotel and E-Rob is going to stay oh, at like Oh, shit. Yeah. I think it'll be funny. <laughs> but, uh, I should have got my room comped, but I didn't. But it's it's not a big deal. I a little disappointed, but I'm not leaving Twitch over it. But I'll think about it. But you you know, ask me what you should start doing. You should start cross platform streaming. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, I might do that. Maybe we'll see what happens. I haven't. I, I don't know if it's really beneficial. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be beneficial or I, not. I don't think it is, and I I truly believe that doing it it's gonna make your chats awkward because every there's so much of a delay difference in each type yeah. of stream. It, it just ruins the community feeling of Twitch or wherever you're streaming from. I, I Wait, so can you do that now? You can stream on YouTube and Twitch? You can, yeah. And I, I've seen people doing it and I'm like, who are you even talking to? Like, so you can't tell. It's Yeah. It makes it, I feel like it kind of splits it instead of like everyone's in one spot. Yeah, I'm, it's not cozy. I, it's really not cozy. It's very weird. You can do it. I think it's good to do if you're a smaller streamer, but I'm not going to do it. I was like, it's... If we were allowed to do that, I'm doing that one million percent. Do it. Go for it. Go for it. Do it. See what happens. I'm curious. Oh, that's fucking sick. Even So even yeah. if you're a partner, you can turn YouTube. You do whatever you want to do. Moist Critical did it. He was at... Uh, oh, shit, yes. My communities are way different. Yeah. My YouTube community hates me. My Twitch community <laughs> loves me. You'll get more donations on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Both of my communities hate me. Oh, fuck. I'm doing that tomorrow, bro. Yeah. You can. You can do TikTok, what, too. Why did they change? Uh, Dan just said it on stream and everyone's like... That's it. All right. They change because that's just how it is. Yep. That's just how it is. I, I think it's okay. the right... Asmin, let me ask you, do you think it's the right move? Um, I don't think it's the wrong move. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure. See what happens. Uh, I think really live streaming, it's like Twitch is... A lot of people stay on Twitch. A lot of people like to watch Twitch. Right. And it is crazy to me. Like, the amount of ads people will sit through is... 
holy fuck, I, if I get an ad, I leave. And then Same. I see the viewer count, it doesn't move. Holy shit, they're not leaving. They're actually sitting there <laughs> watching why ads. Why don't you just run a few fucking ads, man? Enjoy our life. What, did, did Dan pay you to say that? <laughs> this is my last tweet. Yeah, no. <laughs> I said, Dan's the best thing that happened in Twitch in years. Bro, people oh. were pissed at you. <laughs> Good. No, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. I'm getting my room comp next year. That's what I'm doing. I just find it so weird how you can't compliment, like, any, like, CEO or, like, big business without being, like, called a, a glazer. W bro. What were they, what, what are they saying? Were they oh, they were just putting literal, they were like. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. And I'm like, you know what, that's a fair point. Like, honestly. I mean, he did a good job. It's like, it's, it, you can never say anything good. It's like, you're either, like, you're negative, you're saying it how it is, or you're just being a dick sucker. Yeah, I was bro, like, I got everyone, when, so they first, when they first started, Started typing where it's saying I'm a dick writer, but you know, mom, yeah, I told her this. I said, I think Dan Clancy's the greatest thing that happened to Twitch in years, and um, I do believe that. I think he did a great job, like, his presence was just so great. Well, it's like, look at compare him to Emmett Shear, yeah. I don't even know who that? the fuck, yeah, that was the last CEO of Twitch. Did you know that? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, no, exactly. yeah, he was the last <laughs> like, guy, was and like, he doesn't do anything, he just he apparently had a kid and now he's gone, and you know, good for him. But yeah, he never did a fucking thing, had nothing to do with Twitch. The website did nothing for like five years. It, even if Dan is doing stupid stuff, at least he's doing stuff. Listen, yeah, one thing, absolutely. stupid thing he did that I did love, and I don't know if the people in the podcast understand, he told yeah. me, uh, Knut's TTS goes off, his text to speech, and he goes, uh, it says, Dan, can you give us permission to swag out? <laughs> and he, Dan looks at the camera and goes, Everybody, you have permission now to swag out. Jesus and Christ. You obviously know every chat went crazy over that. Like, yeah. yeah. The CEO yeah. was like, giving official approval. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's, that's good. But Dan just being around was just such a good vibe. I was so proud of him. I was honestly also proud of everyone in OTK. They were, everyone was streaming, but, but me, honestly, I just was, yeah. I didn't care to do I also was. My well, you did the up. show, right? See? I mean, you did your job. Yeah, yeah, I did the yeah. show. Yeah. But I just don't care to stream. And Nick and S man, you take it over. It's, I'm too lazy. Yeah, they popped off. They streamed a lot. I was uh, I was impressed, man. That's a lot of people. Yeah, I, a lot did, of hours. I did not give a fuck at all. Yeah, like, I brought my backpack. I was glad that it broke. I I would only go to a convention. So like, I only go to conventions to see viewers because Absolutely. viewers are like, oh, you know, want to take a picture or say hi. Okay, that's nice. End of stream to convention. Mm. Like seeing other people, oh, the experience of it. Ah, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Yeah, not seeing other much. people. Yeah. get the hell out of my yeah. fucking face. <laughs> yeah, something like that. What's you wrong, know? bro? I I love the people. You don't like like meeting the streamers and stuff like well, that. Well, no, I don't. Because most streamers, whenever they meet me, they want to do some sort of. They want me to commit to something. They want to talk to me. They want and well, like I then mean, it's like they're once well, in a here's, lifetime. Chance. Here's the problem, right? If they talk to me, then they will think that they could talk to me in the future. Mm. And now this is another person that's trying to talk to me. <laughs> now I have another person who's messaging me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and it's just a matter of time until it becomes annoying. And it's like, or I could sit in the nest. I could play a dead video game. <laughs> I'm level 100 in Diablo 4, the new season. By the way, it's going great. I killed all the bosses, and I had a great time. And I can get the full TwitchCon experience by watching five clips and then watching the special speech, and then I go off on a tangent talking about myself for an hour. I'm able to do YouTube video, it gets 100,000, 300,000 views. I didn't need to hear any of that. <laughs> Are you joining my wild gold or not? <laughs> Fuck no. Come on, please. Oh my God. Please. Do you want me to join that Okay, shit? let me ask you a question. Yeah. Will you at least react to it? Yeah, okay. I already did. I want you to react to it while, if we get to Molten Core. You're not. If we get there, I bet you we do. Okay. You have to react to it live. I watched the entire thing live. <laughs> what, yep. what level? What level is everybody at? Uh, I'm I'm 30, but I'll get to 60. The average is probably like around 25. No, many, it's like many, 40 now. How many people oh, really? have died and restarted? Very few. No one's dying. Letting you know. No, it's, you it's, a couple yeah, people I, have died. Most. I died times. for the because I wanted to get clipped and Asma to react to it. That's all. It, it worked. I, Nobody. Me, wants me and Russell to die. needed the publicity. Have you seen yeah. what Soda's been doing to everyone that dies? No. What does he do to him? So, so assuming yelling. Okay, first of all, Soda made this insanely detailed spreadsheet that has all of our names, our levels, our like wow tracker. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, uh, our fursona. And then if anyone's oh. died, he will 
enact a punishment on them that they have to do on stream. Like what? And he had to do two of them. Yeah, I had to drink a smoothie. I, I, he ordered a, a, a salad from BJ's and I had to put all the ranch it dressing on it salad. and then uh, put in it in a, a smoothie blender. and then drink it. And then uh, since I challenged Zaryu to a, a duel to the death um, and I have a three-day... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah, funny. And then the I love spreadsheet, it. he'll put... There's like another column that's like uh, punishments, right. and it'll have like a it'll have like what it was, and then it'll be a hyperlink to the yeah. mod of them doing the punishment. Of the fuck so up. It's like yeah, the public for like yeah, public accountability. Yeah, what? I like that. That's good. Yeah, maybe it's, I might join. Bro, Asman, it's so good, dude. It's like I just I love Chance being mad. I love doing this shit. I have a three day debuff that's gonna last seventy two hours in game. I just I love it. Yeah, you have to be logged in all the time. I'll it, send you the spreadsheet. I, oh, and I with I'm telling you, Asman, with world buffs and with the OP gear we get, and with people getting my account and leveling me, I do believe that we're gonna hit sixty, and I do think we'll get to more. I think that you'll hit sixty. I don't think you're gonna get a raid to hit sixty. Stop. Yes, yeah. I will. Uh, that's the thing is I'm sure that maybe you can cobble together a tin man to do UBRS, get knocked off the edge, and die. Like I don't even know if you guys are going <laughs> to get. Would you laugh? That. Would you I laugh? That I would be hilarious. Right, I would and love that's that. what I'm going for you. <laughs> yeah. And then Chance is going to get really fucking mad. Like you right. know what? We, me and Chance are going to set up this Friday. We're having in-person guild meetings. Okay. Where Chance is going to have a literal. It's a oh. like a stand Jay like that. Jay found the spreadsheet. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god! Yeah, there it okay. is. Okay, where we're gonna have a literal uh, a box where Jan Chance is gonna be up on stage talking to us about what we're doing wrong, and we have to listen to him for like an hour or two. Oh yeah, there's Miz. There's pizza, salad, apology. There's three of them. Yeah, I've done. Oh, that's what the apology was about. Yeah, yeah. That's that, was, so that, was, funny. that was a soda punishment. Yep, I did an apology is, so far. I've eaten a salad. I love how it says pending. What is DKP? Uh, oh, that's uh, that's basically how they give loot out and raids. Oh, DKP oh, is dragon it's, kill points. Oh, it's, it's like pri sure. priority. Uh, oh. It's like points that you earn for participating in guild activities. Why is Grayson got minus twenty four? Because fuck him. Yeah, fuck Grayson. Because he's doing ICC <laughs> all time. Wait, Jimmy and Sierra playing? Dude, everyone's playing. Will Neff's playing too. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the, I, uh, Sidian's playing now. Disguise Toast is playing now. Master yeah. Yoshi's playing now. Uh, it's. I'm telling you, I think it's going to be really crazy to watch live when we clear Molten Core and Asmund has to eat a punishment pizza for tonight for nothing. We a can do punishment it. pizza? You will have to eat a punishment pizza. What for the fuck not is a believing. punishment pizza? Like, so mine was all ranch dressing and uh, mushrooms. And Ooh. hot peppers. And feta cheese instead of normal oh, cheese. Bro. But, you're, oh, but if you deny us, you're going to have to probably eat a punishment pizza from Chance. He'll order it and pay for it. But you'll I have bet to, he will. <laughs> you'll at least have to have a bite because you denied that we can even do it. I don't think you're even going to get close to Molten Core. <laughs> and I don't think you're going to kill Ragnaros. It's not going to happen. Oh, come on, dude. <sighs> yeah, it's not going to happen. It, it's so far away. There are so many mistakes that can happen. I know. Like, I love how everybody's level 20 and they're thinking, we oh, man, I, can't, I can't wait till we get to My bad we can't 60. just upload videos of us looking at AI for 20 minutes and then get, get a 50-minute video out of it and get a million views. I have to work. Oh, you've got to work at leveling your character. Well, I, well, I can get someone to do that part. Yeah, of course. I have to go to a convention. I have to do stuff. Oh, really right. Busy. But we'll, we'll look. Andy Fwish is in it. We got... Oh, yeah, um, I see that. We oh, had some I, big names in there like Fandy. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Buddha's died four times, you know. Ooh. What yeah, the two fuck? Two of those were in the span of 45 minutes. Holy shit. How'd that happen? I, I really don't know. No wonder he's only level 17. Oh, he's playing a hunter. It just sounds like this is like such a miserable experience leveling it if you, you die play once. Genshin it's over. Impact. No, I fucking don't. Okay, you yes, you do. Man. I used to. You play every night, every time there's new content. Honkai. Okay, you play Honkai. It's the same crap to me. No, it, it's always well, the two it, hours. It is a different it's, game. It's way different. It's way different. Okay, but like, well, you but like play, Honkai you, is more fun. It is. It's strategy. But like with World of Warcraft, like the I like just grinding dead mines, grinding the dungeons. Can can you still do that? Because not being able to. No, die you can't. Time. You can only do the dungeons once a day. Oh, that sounds so sad. Stop yeah, yelling. it is. I'm not stop, Miss. Stop. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, I mean I I will consider like uh, oh I will react. Okay, I can get I can no, promise I'm not you that I will person. react. Listen, I'm not coming to you in person and asking you to do something and then you're gonna say. All right, 
I'll do it. <laughs> and then you're not going to do it. And then you're going to, uh, you're going to ignore everything. I don't expect you to play. I just want you to react. If we, if we get to, Oh, the I will react. I want you to watch the entire thing. I will watch the entire thing. I will. I mean, listen. I will be there from start to finish, yeah. which it probably will be about a half hour. Oh God, but that would be so good to react to us it yelling and chance. Like we have an in-person meeting that he's just yelling at us yep. afterwards. And it's never going to happen. You listen. You when you first heard about my guild, you said it'll be gone in a day. Yeah. And look at us now. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there increased exp? No. No. There's no way. There's nothing. Yes. Tech tone, sweetie. I'll tell you why. No, you're gonna go back and nobody's gonna play. Literally, Lamalek sting. No, we're fine. Everyone, everyone's still playing. Stop. It's because uh, (laughs) the reason why is because there's world buffs. They're OP. It's because there's gear that's OP. It's OP. And we're just perfectly fine. The guild's fine. I was just excited to see Asmund's going to react to it. It'll oh, be- yeah, absolutely. Why would I not react to it? I react to classic WoW stuff every day. Like, I'm just imagining... I've never like, played it. Grayson or Russell fucks up and kills everybody, and then it's just funny, so... Especially if it's Grayson or, like, one of the, like, classic players. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that would be perfect. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a great time. Nobody's getting 60. It's not going to happen. I'd be amazed if there is a UBRS raid. No, people will get 60. There 100%. will be people that get 60, but yeah. will there be enough to do no, a raid? absolutely How not. How many do you need? Yeah, 10. 40. Oh, wait, it's oh, 10? 10? Yeah, we I can thought it was 40. That. No, it's 10 to do what he's saying. Oh. oh there are Ubers. different dungeons. 10 to do Ubers. Yeah, like there's yeah. 10, 20, and 40. Ubers is fucking hard. No, it's not. It's all easy. Is it not hard? No. no. Hardest is Nax. Nax not, is that's weird. not what I would, I would not is, call it hard. Is Ubers the one with uh, the dwarf on the throne at the end? No, that's BRD. Oh, okay. That, Tucky, that should, one's not you hard should either. play with less. Just get boosted. Chance, nah. Chance doesn't care. Wait, you can get boosted? Well, you can just like, it's it's so stupid. You can basically just, there, there's hyper spawn areas and you just basically have a viewer, like whatever you're at 50%. Yeah. And then, uh, and then would, you level up. You can level to 20 in a few hours. I, I would play, but I would have to be playing with people who I like. Yeah, but I also feel like you would like smirk and kill us. Yeah, and just like, invite what? your like seven buddies. And they no, can, like, like I would, I would like, if I, could, if I could level with Seer, I would play. Seer's oh, playing. Yeah, Seer's playing. No, but I would, I would have to be playing with Seer every time. He will totally do that with you. Will's playing too. I would also play with Will. But I, I can't play these games a lot. I remember when the, the original WoW Classic came out and I was in a group. I had all my buddies in it and then I was changed group with a bunch of people I didn't fucking know, which at the time was Jimmy. I had no idea who Jimmy was. Oh my God, Miz, I hate you so much. Holy fuck. <laughs> I just, I don't like playing video games without people who I like. Well, there's literally 50 people in the guild and half yeah, of them are your know, ward buddies. Buddy. And you're I like, know. I just need people yeah. that I like. But they're not going to be my What VTuber group. do you want us to add, <laughs> Tectone? Is that uh, it? Iron Mouse. <laughs> Nanners. Okay, so go. Nanners plays, you play. Oh, hell yeah. If like me and Nanners and Aether would play. I feel like she would, maybe. Oh, maybe, I would, play I would the fuck say out so, yeah. I would grind the fuck I kinda out of I kind of feel like she would. I'll message them. Okay, so if they play, you play. Absolutely. I'm going down. What can they do in the guild? 100%. Oh, fuck. I'll kick Russell tomorrow. I'm totally down for that. Okay. Hold up. Is, is, that, is that efficient to level as five or three? Yeah, you can do whatever you want with that. Oh, sh- yeah. shit. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I just, I'll believe it when I see it, okay? I'll believe it when I see it. For me, I never really play with other people in pretty much any other game. I only play with viewers, which are basically NPCs. Was Sniper Wolf right or wrong? Emmer, what do you think? Oh, did you Wrong. see that? Yeah, I, I actually saw that. Yeah, wow, okay, good. Internet drama that you're aware of. That's mm-hmm. good, good start. I, I always <laughs> love when these YouTubers come out with these massive apologies. Yeah. The, after the punishment happens, never before. Like, the, oh, the moment she got demonetized, she switched up so quick. Well, to be fair, she probably just coordinated that with YouTube, and she said, I'm going to post this whenever YouTube posts the demonetization. I feel like that's probably what happened. No. Nah. Like, no, it probably well. Either way, I mean, like this girl shows up at a dude's house. Like, yep. holy fuck! How crazy. unhinged! And she got arrested for armed robbery before. That's not the kind of person I want to meet in the dark in front of my house. No, that shit is fucking nuts. That is that is yeah. Absolutely Wait, disgusting. she got arrested for armed robbery. The more you know. I thought it was yep. for like domestic abuse or. Something. I mean, that's still terrible. But I mean, I know she has two mugshots, so she's been arrested more than once. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. 
Look, I've been saying it for years. These React streamers need to go. Yeah, yep. there it is. Get them out of here. <laughs> These React get them out of here. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> yep. Well, yep. I don't know what the hell's going on with them, but they need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. I mean, people were uh, like, I made a video about it. I talked about it. I love whenever drama happens because that's whenever I get to talk about it. Like I can just oh, watch yeah, you live these. For it. Oh yeah, I do. I, I really think it's great. Like sometimes I, I even sometimes want to egg on even more drama, just like create even more of it just to get people mad. I mean, that's what you did with WoW for like seven years. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I would just create drama and then just let it happen yeah. or say something stupid, get people it mad. Like, please stop. Like I You're remember like, one time what it is. <laughs> after, after we did that one stream where like you and I dressed up as girls with Emeru yeah. and uh, with uh, Jessica Negri, I made a tweet and I said, I got more compliments in four hours of being a girl than I did in my entire life of being a man. Mm. And Everybody thought that I was coming out as a girl. <laughs> they did. They were like, oh, what the fuck? That's all it took? Oh my God. Wait, were your comments all like, oh my God, congratulations? I, Some I of them were, huge, yes. But I didn't see it. Yes, they were. And like, then the there comments. were other people that were saying that I was doing like some sort of like red pill, like, oh, men do get compliments. Maybe you'd get compliments if you took a shower once, you oh, know, and okay. all this other stuff. Yeah, and it was so retweeted. good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did Sneeko retweet it? <laughs> he probably well, did. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Yo, should we get Elon on the podcast or what? I hope so. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy that he followed you. Yeah, he followed me. I'll have to DM him next uh, next Diablo season. He I'll loves like, Baldur's Gate and Diablo. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go down the list. Yeah, and Everybody. then S-Fan, S-Fan is like, hey, Elon, do you want to commit to like eight hour streams of Baldur's Gate 3 with like me and some other and guys for like, tour with me? for like a month <laughs> <laughs> to finish Baldur's Gate. Just like real quick though, right? Yeah, I'm thinking that yeah, after we do a tailgate tour, we could hang out and play Baldur's Gate for a while. You yeah. can stay over my house for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, uh, Dan said he'd uh, be down to come on the podcast. Oh yeah, I would love to have Dan Clancy on the have podcast. Well. Actually, a lot of people, and I mean this generally, a lot of people came up to me about steak and eggs. Wow. Like a lot. And then they said, where's Asmund? And I said, oh, he's over there. And they said, really? And I said, fuck no, he doesn't leave his house. Yeah. And that really made people sad. Well, fuck him. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, think, I think after my episode, you guys are going to blow up. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I think so, man. Like, I think that this is really going to be like your staple to like, just go. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I said to myself, you know, like I will, I'll help out. You know, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept. I was uh, with Extra Emily for five hours last night. As she oh, is fuck. the most boring gambler I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, I know. She's, she's, she's like, she like, penny bets. Yeah. She, she penny bets at roulettes. And it's then she, she cashes out with like six bucks. And okay, like, so it's, she it's wins profit. six dollars. She gets, she will, she'll win six bucks, <laughs> get excited, go cash it out, and then be like, all right. So, so she won ultimately. Okay. Yeah. You do this. Yes, she yeah. won. Okay, but it's so she won. Winning. There it is. I mean, it's like six bucks. Well, I mean, didn't she go to like college and sit and shit? So of course she didn't gamble. Bro, she went to college. She's a dumbass now. She's been streaming for over a year. Uh, I mean, it took longer than that. I, I only really started to get stupid after about two years, maybe mm, three. I, I think it's, I think year three is when you get really stupid. Yeah, really, really bad. Yeah. I, but I think Extra Emily is. The amount of like content she track. does to be stupid and dumb, yeah. I feel like she just got really stupid and dumb. It's like really fast. Like yeah. it's like a, yeah, it's like a speed running. Yeah, like you okay. do a lot of things that like make your brain grow all the time. I like, don't know about that. You well, you do like like reacts like to Sniper Wolf or like oh a, that was fun and reacts to other stuff and then sometimes I react to other stuff, guys. Sometimes I will react to a game coming out. Right. Sometimes I will even react to other people playing a game. And me, it's like I have to coordinate which girl's going to be on my stream that yeah. day. So it's a lot of like moving in. Like, you know, logistics and stuff. It's a lot of, like, you got to figure out, like, yeah, <laughs> whose only fans are we going to promote today? <laughs> you know, I'm actually wearing a fansly bag, actually. Really? Yeah, we went to the party. Me and, uh, me, Emmy, and who else was there? Brit. Yeah, me, me, Emmy, and Brit. Was it me, Emmy, and Brit? That's it? Holy fuck, my brain is like, there was definitely another person there. Oh, um, yeah, they don't matter. It? it was Russell, probably. No, it wasn't. Oh, no. Why is my brain lagging so bad? I genuinely can't. Because we haven't slept at all in like five days. That's true. We, we, yeah, we actually. Yeah, we went to this before. crazy party crazy. at the Fansley place, and I was expecting like basically to see Gamer Subs cups, but in real life, like all over the place. And I was. <laughs> yeah, I was, that's why I would go. Yeah, I was like, all right, this is probably where I'm going to find my next thumbnail. So I was, I was, right. I went there, and it was this crazy thing. It was a, um, it was a grocery store, but it was interactive. 
And it was, was the, it the milk it was section? a full on um, bar. Oh, Mega Mart. Oh. Wait, Mega Mart? Yeah, Mega Mart. It's yeah. an yeah. Yeah, the place is sick. Exhibit, basically. It's a, it exhi- yeah, yeah. so we're there, and, we're, and they're like, yep, you have to find your way to the bar. So I'm like, ooh, this is exciting. We're finding our way, we're doing our thing, we're going through it. And as we're going through, we're just like, fans like ran this whole place out. It's all you can have drinks. Looking around, where the hell is everybody? Yeah. I'm not kidding you. I felt bad. There was probably like maybe 15 people there. Yeah. Well, they probably then, could. They probably got lost getting over there. And then, but and then, two uh, two blocks down, mm-hmm. there was emo night, which was basically just you know My Chemical Romance playing on repeat while everyone was well, Tecto was running around with the blow uh, bubbles. And <laughs> that was fun. Exciting. Everyone was there. Holy oh my god! What was that? When you gotta that? clean your is house. Is that a cicada? What the fuck? You want me to get them? That was a big ass bug. Him. Okay. Let me see if I can get them. Or is he? Oh, he, he flew over the there. I got him. Oh, it's uh. Wait, let him stay. Oh my god, I hate bugs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, grab it. I'm trying. I'm trying to get. Dude, him. that thing he's is getting huge. Home. Oh my god! Wait, he did he just kill he himself? He just killed himself. <laughs> no, he's not dead. You have... <sighs> bro, put that shit down. All right, boys. You want me to throw it on you? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. No, you make a wish. Grab it. Make a wish. Dude, his antenna sticking what out. What is that? What is that? Is that a roach? Dude, are you really afraid of that kind of stuff? Crawly boy. A, li- a little bit. You were in his What's house for like do? two hours. What's he gonna Whoa, do? Whoa, he just yeah, fell he just in your lap. Oh, oh, he's, oh, wait, oh, he's just a little guy. He's a big guy. ass grasshopper. Yeah, you think I'll bite so, yeah, You think I would pick something up that would, that would bite me? Fuck I mean, no, I don't know. Do, do big bugs bite? No, he don't bite. Uh, trust me, I know this. Wait, he's kind of cute. Yeah, he's fine. Here, I'll do him. I'll wait, do him. no, I actually don't want to. <laughs> no. You're such a pussy. Am I an asshole? No, no asshole. that is pussy. just... He, he, I can't even yeah. fathom how you just grabbed that fucking what? thing. <laughs> That's just insane to me. <laughs> You're no, trolling. <laughs> like these people who like Is grab bugs and like pick up frogs and shit. I just don't know, bro. Oh, I can pick up frogs, but what? something about bugs just, just I don't know. Oh, He's, a bug. He's doing bug stuff. I can't. I, I explode those motherfuckers. Tecto, let me let me tell you something. You're claiming about how disgusting it is to touch a bug. You shook three thousand people's hands this weekend yeah. in chronological order of disgustingness. Sweaty people you hugged. Yep. And you probably didn't wash your hands as you ate food. And I you want to say a cricket is gross. Yeah, I don't like bugs. I oh, okay. Look, I have no problem touching something that I know won't bite me. I have no issue why'd with you, it. Is, why didn't you go to TwitchCon? I didn't. Oh. See? That's the thing. The problem is, is they, they jump at me. They fly at me. Who, oh, your so fans? What? They try yeah. to bite you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I hate when you shake one of your fans' hands and it's like it like shaking an Aquafina bottle. It's just like pure Tech liquid. Tone, I'm so, I feel like you at your meet and greet were like giving out your phone number to fans. Okay. All right, yeah, just hit me up later, dude. You want to come to the Gamer Stuff party? Wait, why is that a problem? <laughs> I just feel like, I don't know, I, just, I feel like you're just like, what's up, dude? Yo, you want to go to the Gamer Stuff party later? It's like, Tech Tone? Like, I don't know. I feel like people are people, you know? I don't know. I don't think it's a big idea. Besides the creepy ones. Yeah, you're just, before, women guide these fucking fans. I don't know. I think they're fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, he's not a woman. Yeah. No, it's, it's different, though, because I'm a guy. They're not coming up to me, like, trying to grab my ass, right? Ugh. That's the weird You just yeah. said Will Neff spanked you, like, Well, I've had people yeah, do that Will's to me. He's, it's not huh? even that, I've had people That's do that. That's crazy to me that's happened to you multiple times. Yeah. I've never heard any other guy say that. Where they grab, like, your weenor? Well, one time, but before okay. they just grabbed my ass. I've had that, that happen yeah. at like a rave, but like never at a TwitchCon. No, it was, it was, at, a, it was at another convention. So what if somebody came up to me and grabbed my ass at a convention and I just beat the fuck out of them? Like what, what? happens? Like, do I, I get a hate threat for that or do I get like a wild bang? I, I mean, you I get a hate threat no matter what. That, that's, my, that's perfectly okay with me. Okay, I feel like that's a justified thing. Well, just don't grab people. I agree. Just don't touch people. You won't get hit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, problem solved. It's, it's pretty easy. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's just, it's just whatever. Like, it's happened to me, but I mean, fuck. Like, I'm not going to those conventions. I tried. I tried going to conventions. I was like, oh, go, just go. You'll like it. Uh-huh. I went. It was a real situation. Asvin, you don't like anything. I do. You he like does. being home. He yeah. likes what he likes. It's I fine. do. Like, your basement sucks. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a nice place. But you got to understand from his perspective, like... Imagine that you could enjoy a $1 burger or you can enjoy a $1,000 burger. It is so much more advantageous to enjoy the $1 burger. That's right. I don't know. What does advantageous mean? Oh, like it's, it's like better and better. shit. Wait, why is it better and shit? Well, because then you get the same enjoyment out of something that costs one, one, one thousand of the price. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the matter? Wait, I, but I do enjoy that. Exactly. 
No, but isn't you that like good? going to Twitch which costs ten thousand dollars. As like staying. Did in it house, cost ten? There's no way. It was like a thousand dollars to go to one of those things. No. Okay. So my hotel was three thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. So you probably spent too much money. Well, no, I got comped. Oh, so then it was zero dollars. But it could have. Okay, but it was zero dollars. <laughs> like, okay, and then yeah, and then I lost four thousand dollars gambling. Okay, that, also, so like you cannot count four thousand dollars being spent gambling. Right, but you know what they do at this day? You know, I spent like three thousand dollars in tips this weekend. These son of a bitches. I'll, I'll be getting <laughs> a water. People. I'll be getting a water nine ninety nine. All right, that's fair pricing. I love it in Vegas. Here you go. Slides the pen to me, and it says. Why don't you give 15%, 20%, or 25%? And now I'm drunk, so I give them the 25%, and that's how they make all their damn money. And I asked the lady, I said, what's the highest tip you ever got? And she said, $600, because the guy fucked up, put 600 She said, are you sure? And he said, I don't care. I made money tonight. And he walked away. Damn. And he did not. Apparently, he was not. I'm about to you tell you, well. you're, you're about to vomit from this. I went to a store in Las Vegas, bag of beef jerky. How much do you think that shit cost me? A bag of beef jerky. How big was the bag? That, Ooh, that, I'd say $30. Oh, that? how the fuck did you do that? Oh, is that really not shocking to you? I feel like that's insane. Was it $30? It was $30 exactly, $29.99. As in, guess how much this was, ready? <laughs> it's, I was giving the fucking I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done, I've never seen anyone do okay. it like that. Like, usually it's like... How much were my Skittles I bought? Skittles? At probably $3. No, it was 30 I gave a $27 tip. I was drunk. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, trust me. I know I know how much that shit is. Yeah. I once went to uh, an airport and I bought a bottle of water and a soda and the soda was cheaper. Why do you remember that? So I know not to do it again. What, to go to an airport? You're like, you know what? This was it. I'm not going to an airport yep. ever again. Yeah, I learned my lesson right there. <laughs> that was enough. You've learned lessons everywhere. And you just, basically that's right. your lesson is stay home and don't do anything else. Well, that's a lot of, it's a hard lesson to learn. Well, I am curious. So if you were going to a convenience store and somebody were to like grab your dick, would you like never go back to a convenience store? Why would I go? Well, well I mean, which one would it be? Because like, would if it's you, the, which the, well, if it's the it depends if it's, on my dick, which one? Well, okay, yeah. Like, who is yeah. it? Why do they do it? Was it an employee? Is it a guy that's okay. there all it's, the time? A, there was a homeless guy in the front. Uh, there's a home. Is he gonna be there all the time? Maybe. I don't know. Like, maybe it's a new handshake. <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't bother me. It's not like, bro. Yeah. It's not like if they do that, it's gonna make me gay. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. I mean, like, it's it doesn't bother me at all. What's wrong with you guys? Everybody else is crazy except me. I uh, know. I don't know what the hell's wrong with everybody oh else. My God. Yeah, this is just normal. I, yeah, it's it's whatever to me. How, Maybe, how did you meet? I'm actually curious. Just to ask. Random, yeah, random yeah, 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 yeah. You know, becoming gay from homeless people jerking you off. Uh huh. Thing. How did you meet Miz? What was your first interaction with Miz? Oh fuck. Miz asked me if I was okay with him making a video. Stop. No, say this it. It's cringe. It. I'm just curious. No. Just well, say you, it. Well, you made a video about me. End the podcast. No, let me just ask. Yeah. No, no. Well, you made a video about me. Who is Asmongold? And I watched the video, and then you uploaded the react of the video. That's what it was. Yeah. It was a wow. really good video, though. It was a good one. It was no, a great I thought one. your old content was great. You're exploring T1? The, the T1, the doctor, the doctor oh, disrespect video. It's also good. Oh, I don't watch. But your old stuff was great. Yeah, I saw the T1 one when it had like 15K yeah. Well, you want to know something that's really depressing? What's mm -hmm. that? My first video I ever made, the, the Who is Tyler 1 video, is the biggest video I've ever made. So it's... Wait, is it actually? So you actually It has 5 peaked. million views plus. It is the biggest video I've ever done. Oh my God. I actually peaked the first thing I ever did. Wow. Oh my God. It's only downhill from here. It's been only downhill yeah. for five years. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, it's been, he, it, this video is like 5 million views. Everything else I've ever done has never gotten even close. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, it's a little depressing, but it also tells me like, you know, maybe I should just be focused on. You just do YouTube. Yep. Just maybe do I should YouTube. just do YouTube, make it, you know, who is Eden Ross and it, it gets demonetized in five seconds. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. Or uh, who is Sneeko? And I'll upload it on Rumble. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Did, I ever, did I ever tell you how I met Miz? How? It made me feel like a lunatic. Like I was around, like, like you know, the, everyone's crazy about me. I felt yeah, like I, I was that. just, uh, it was one of those moments. Mm -hmm. I, I meet Miz for the first time in person. It was the OTK one year anniversary. It was the party. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay, Miz is like, you're like gray. 
sweating, like having like a stroke. That shit was hot. Yeah. Nobody was checking on him at all. Yeah. He was like alone, dying. I talked to him. He could barely speak. Uh, do you remember what I did? I put medicine in your mouth and poured a bottle of water into your mouth and made you take ibuprofen. And then I covered you with my clothes. And then I Why, sat next to you. Was it like a hundred degrees? Why are you covering my clothes? No, I put I put a, I put a shirt over your face. You said it was like a, it was too, too bright. Oh. So I took off my shirt, put it over your face. And I was like, are you okay? And you're like, no, I'll just lay for a little bit. And then I sat next to you for half an hour. And then eventually you like get up. I thought you needed to go to the hospital. It was insane. Because I also almost heat stroked out of that, uh, at that party too. Right. I, I just remember either. at that party, I was talking to the Botez sisters and then there was a magician and then I went home. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, you, okay. It was a great time. So you're laying on there and then I sat next to you and then were you there oh, too? Oh yeah, everything yeah, went wrong there. with the stream. Yeah, and then did you sit next to us in the circle? Yeah, there was a I circle. You were in that circle. Too. Yeah, you were in the circle too. At yeah. the end of the, uh, at the end of the. Yeah, there was yeah. a circle of people. And you, I met you then too. Was in the circle too. Yeah, yeah. Tips, yeah. There was like a circle of people surrounding this gift because yeah. we thought he was like dying. And they were sacrificing me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what yeah, you I get. Think there was the five of us, or maybe a, one or two more people. It was yeah. the Botez sisters, a magician, you guys, and Tips, and Asim was there. The yeah. magician was sick. Magician yeah, he was, was trying he to was really go good. away. Didn't he, didn't he accidentally spoiler Sears thing? No, he did it right, I think. I think he did it right. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. went wrong in that entire one year event. but It was perfect. Wait, where's, I, it, where's our three year thing? Didn't that, didn't that just happen? It was on Tips' Twitter. We didn't really yeah. do anything. Oh. I mean, it was yeah, I, I, met, I met Asvin for the first time. I remember it was, we were playing PUBG. It was me, him, McConnell, and S Van. And S Van was talking about how he should get off YouTube and go to Twitch. Yeah. And McConnell was telling me that I should stream. And Asmin was just there playing PUBG and did not care about anything we were talking about. And we would drop. We won a lot. I don't know if you remember. Of course, I was playing. I was on we, the team. We would win a lot in PUBG. I, I know. I was really good. And it was honestly, I still believe PUBG was one of my most favorite games of all it time. Is the, it is the best BR. Yeah. The it, why, don't, why don't we just play it? Why don't we just do a four squad? I have a sponsor Maybe for we it should. in three days. I will do it with you if you ever need a buddy. Sure, you, you can play with me and extra Emily. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, is she sponsored too? Yeah. Wait, is it mobile? It is mobile, but it's also, it's so much. It, it, the, the, when so it, is your sponsor mobile? No. Okay, because so I have a mobile sponsor for PUBG as well. Oh, maybe it's mobile. I mean, it yeah. was. I it, think it is the mobile one. Yeah. yeah. It was literally just a perfect, it was so scuffed, but it was so good. And the best part was you could blame everything on just the game sucked. Oh, absolutely. Because it, did. <laughs> because it so sucked. Yeah, it was never your fault. I always would just say, yeah, the game sucked. It lagged because it did suck. But it was, I, I mean, I going to school, I mean, going everywhere with that game was so good. It's still good. Yeah. it was. A, I absolutely loved it. I mean, uh, they have a sponsor for it. So I'm not trying to brag. Mm -hmm. But I do have a sponsor. Yeah. That's exciting. Wow. Congrats. Emmy, shut up. You have like eight a day. Yeah, I actually turned that one down. Is there anything That's else? crazy. Is there anything else you want to talk about, Miss? <laughs> is there anything else on your mind? Or you want to leave? Uh, I mean, there's been nothing on my mind for an hour and 32 minutes. That's cool. about right. Well, it sounds like we're all done here then, huh? Well, what I didn't get to show. say how I met Emmy. Oh, how'd you meet Emmy? Among Us? CSGO. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. All right. Can we leave, Asmund? Yeah, yeah. It sounds good. All right, guys. Please. Thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Miz, for coming on. Absolutely. I was a sub in for Elon Musk, but you know yeah, what? Yeah, well, you know. Oh, that's yeah. Also, the way it is. before we go, uh, next week we have another special coming. I don't oh, want to boy. say what it is yet, though. Okay, good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's Elon Musk. Uh, I don't entirely understand what it is even. Oh, you will. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Asmin, it's going to be one of those things where you do it and you're going to say, yep, I shouldn't have gone. And then you're going to go home. <laughs> yep. That's that's about what I expect. I mean, you're going to go and a homeless guy's going to touch you. <laughs> yep. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay tuned to next time. And you'll see uh, whatever they have in store. Yay. Yep. All Bye. Right, see you later. Peace. See ya.
speaking of things that aren't a thing, is chiropractic real or is it not real? So, I've heard it's not real. I feel that it's real. I feel like it's got to be. I feel like it's, you know what? Maybe it's real if you believe it's real. I've I, heard it's, it is pseudoscience. My placebo is very strong. Apparently, I was under the, apparently, I thought I was drunk when I was sober. Uh -huh. And I'm very good at like, if I believe something enough, it like, I can feel it. But like, chiropractic for me, I have never told, I've never been told by more people that chiropractic doesn't work on anybody when it, I feel like it worked for me because I could barely even stand up straight. Well, if it worked for you, then it worked for you. I mean, it, placebo is so strong. It can like literally like make people feel better from illness. I think yeah, it depends I, on what it is. I watched an ex experiment where they, they had a machine that did literally nothing but like vibrate and they would hook it up to people and they had two different test groups. One was like, this machine is going to cause you pain and nobody was like, I feel pain. They're all like, this is doing nothing. Yeah. And then when they hooked up the machine to people and said, this is going to make you feel really good. They were like, wow, that's amazing. That was like nine out of 10. I would pay like $200 for that. Really? I need to buy yeah. one of those machines. I can, I can show it to you. It's on Netflix. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. They were like, this is amazing. I, I feel so amazing right now. And it was literally just a machine that did nothing, but the machine was vibrating, but like they couldn't even feel anything.